Well, written by more than 100 educators across New Zealand, Bright Ideas for Young Minds is filled with quick, easy to make and mostly free activities for parents to share with their children. Now to tell us more, please welcome to the cafe, Claire Edgler. Welcome. Yes, Thank welcome, you. Claire. Thank you. Uh, congratulations on the book. It is beautiful. How did the idea come about? Look, I think the idea came about, we had a, a 21st birthday um, la this year, the beginning of this year, and um, for us it was really about celebrating. What could we what could we do to celebrate being 21 years old in Best Start and celebrate uh, the wonderful um, relationships that we have with parents and, and looking at ideas and things to, to, to really celebrate the partnerships that we have with parents um, and it, the expertise of our teachers. The first thing I thought you meant then was that you had a 21st person that you knew had a birthday, you thought, let's do some finger painting, <laughs> which is not the case at all. No, but they could join in. Although that would be fun at a 21st. They could join in. And that's the thing I got from this book. It looks yeah, fun, looks sure. easy to follow, which is great. How did you set up the chapters? Because you've got various chapters, so what's we in have. them? I guess the chapters for us was an array of children have different interests, right? And, um, and parents do too. So what we did is we looked at what are some of the things that we know are really learning rich uh, that parents can do with their children, but actually take the interests of different children. So we've got... Um, We've got things like creative thinkers, we've got creativity and art, we've got outdoor for those children, I think, particularly when I think of my own son, who couldn't probably think of anything worse than coming in and drawing, but actually loves to be out and about. Mm. So lots, and valuing the outdoors, valuing wow. um, the learning that happens in the outdoors. We've got science. Um, so yeah, just a huge array. Um, little helpers, which is all about um, supporting children's growing independence. So yeah, there's a huge array of activities, which we hope will um, engage parents and children um, and doing some of those. And some of the things that are in here are really simple and really obvious like Absolutely. puddle spotting and mm. jumping but it is something that perhaps some parents don't think of do they? Mm. To put on a raincoat I think and, and head out often you know those rainy days where people um, kind of get a bit frizzled parents might think oh what, wait, what can I do actually heading outside into the open air and we've got a real focus in there around um, physical activity heading out there jumping in some puddles and actually looking at what's the learning that's happening so really valuing um, conversations language extending children's um, on their learning when they're out having fun mm. and that's the thing I love about it it's practical advice which is really important but it yeah. doesn't cost hardly anything the lists of what you need you know yeah. a cloth a bucket I mean yeah. it's easy to find a puddle yeah. isn't it? it is not it what's your background Claire um, my background's in teaching and also in social work so it was um, yeah my background in early childhood teaching and then um, retraining into social work so the, for me it's ooh. it's about relationships the book's actually about relationships, and I think that's really fundamental. Um, yeah. Also, some good healthy recipes too, by the way. Look at that one. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> and have you seen a change? I guess you know, with modern technology, it's easy to call the iPad the babysitter yeah. now and think that you're stimulating your child doing that. Have we lost that art of being present? I guess with children. I think it's that's huge. That word, mm. being present, and I think having fun, engaging your child, talking with your child. Um, being curious about what they think, mm. being curious about, so, and I think there's a, there, to me what I think this book really um, highlights is the opportunities that parents have to do simple things with mm. their children, but actually what they're doing in that is they're really building those relationships, especially in the first three years. We know that children, mm. um, in the first thousand days, children's brains develop the most that they're ever going to develop. So those strong attachments, those strong relationships, having fun, our experience and memories children will, will remember. They will. Um, and it's about it's about connecting with your child. And it's also it's that these children that are growing up now, they're, they're the first ones ready to grow up fully in the digital age. Absolutely. I like this one. The pig fun. Um, <laughs> my children did this, I like you to know, but they did it with their body parts. <laughs> Most, mostly their faces. They pick each other. Mostly their faces <laughs> all over the, you know, they, they had fun. Yeah. So we've got a whole lot of different activities, everything Absolutely. from fruit platters yeah. through to baby disco. Yeah, really um, fantastic. What Often, you know, you think about activities for children I think parents think oh this is all about preschoolers so it's all more um, three-year-olds and four-year-olds and, and five-year-olds and so forth but we really wanted to emphasize that actually building relationships and being in a relationship and having experiences starts from very young so it starts with your right Mike it starts with baby disco um, and that's actually having singing and dancing with your baby but listening to rhythm and song and language all starting to develop children's um, oral language mm. right from really young so yeah so just there's so much in there it doesn't it's certainly and we didn't aim it just at parents our teachers know the relationships that are um, really important we've got 
um, families and whānau that are, it's not just mum and dad, it's um, others, it's aunties, it's uncles, it's nan, it's granddad, it's different people um, looking. It can be the neighbour. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah. having opportunities yeah. to go and say, what can we do, let's let's have a log. And the baby disco is great because that's the time when they still want to dance with you and don't they go, oh, mum, you're yeah. so embarrassing. <laughs> oh, don't grab me now. Mum, don't touch might me. Exactly. <laughs> it's like, oh, well, that's fantastic. That a great totally book, awesome. a really yeah, great book. Congrats. Thank you so much for stopping by today. You're welcome. Bright Very Ideas welcome. for Young Minds is out right now and it's available where all good books are sold.